Hi, continuing with the series of preterm deliveries, uh, infertility. We have seen that there is an increased uh, incidence of uh, preterm deliveries in patients who have undergone uh, uh, infertility treatment, more so to do with uh, in vitro fertilization, that is IVF or test tube AP. The, there could be certain uh, factors why. One is the, with the IVF treatment, we have seen that the multiple pregnancies are more, you know, twins and triplets. Generally, we try to see, we see more of twins uh, than triplets, so twin pregnancy. Next is uh, because of so much of hormone intervention and then you know it is uh, uh, artificially conceived there is an increased chance of uh, developing certain medical uh, complications like uh, uh, severe uh, PIH or also these patients also develop what is called as intrauterine growth restriction that is IUG or which you call which uh, can be an indication for early delivery this is more of you know the doctors decide that okay because we are not able to progress with the pregnancy we may have to consider delivering and taking care of the baby outside. So in this also there is a huge uh, uh, advances which we have done and we have found that okay there are certain methods which we are following nowadays which have reduced the uh, bad outcome in IVF treatment. So anyone who has conceived with a ovulation induction and with IUI have a similar outcome that as naturally conceived. So this two treatment has not got anything much to do with a preterm delivery but with uh, test tube baby yes. So what we have started doing is we do what is called a single embryo transfer or only two blast transfer. So this reduces the chance of multiple pregnancy. Single embryo transfer yes definitely this is very unlikely to have a twin pregnancy though they can still have uh, identical twins which again can be detected. Next is when we transfer two blasts. So we don't go more than two uh, blasts uh, for embryo transfer. Two blasts we still have a 25-30% chance of having twins. So anyone with a high risk of having a preterm delivery in patients like who is already hypertensive or on the obesity side or who has had a previous uh, preterm delivery we try to avoid uh, tw uh, two embryos we just do a single embryo transfer. We also go for what is called as uh, try to do a fresh embryo transfer if there is no uh, indication for not doing it like uh, overstimulation or bad endometrium. Uh, when we are doing frozen embryo transfer, we try to do what is called as a natural cycle or a modified natural cycle because in a natural or a modified natural cycle, the patient's outcome in terms of uh, IUGR or development of uh, pregnancy induced hypertension is as good as what happens in a normal uh, pregnancy. So because the normally in a natural cycle, there is a corpus luteum which will be secreting certain chemicals like relaxins and progesterones, which help in pro proper placentation and also avoids the chance of having a pregnancy induced hypertension. And also when we are talking about an IVF pregnancy, in an high risk pregnancy, uh, high risk situation we do continue them on certain blood thinners and maybe also immunomodulators which can uh, reduce the chance of uh, extreme preterm deliveries. So when we anticipate problems we take these kind of measures like single embryo transfer, natural cycle and also follow them up very thoroughly to have a better outcome in this pregnancy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.